everyone welcome back to our exam b in this video we are going to start the previous year based questions discussion for phase 1 of your rbi dpr examination so so in this video we are going to discuss questions from econometrics and statistics uh, section uh, which is the third section of your phase 1 uh, exam Uh, we are going to discuss uh, all the exam uh, pattern based questions this is the part 1 in this uh, series so let's start uh, the video you can also uh, you know if you wish you can check out the rbi grade b dpr online course that you have if you want to streamline your preparation just in case and also if you are writing the dpr exam uh, then this uh, Uh, Indian Economic Service test series can also help you, and uh, you must also be given the Indian Economic uh, Service examination. If not, then you must definitely and uh, check out the test series uh, that we have, where we um, help you in answer writing and also uh, provide interview uh, guidance. So let's now start the previous year question discussion. This is. Um, uh, one of the question from uh, regression analysis it tells that average daily wage working class people in nagpur is rupees 12 and for that uh, in delhi is rupees 18 and their respective standard deviations are also given so so for people working in nagpur the average is 12 and for people working in delhi the average is 18 The standard deviation is two and three respectively for Nagpur and Delhi. This is this much information is given to you, and the coefficient of correlation, which is R, is point six seven between the daily wage of people working in Nagpur and Delhi. Now you have to find out the most likely wage in Delhi corresponding to the wage of rupees twenty in Nagpur. So how do you tackle such kind of question? What is most likely wage in Delhi? Okay, so you use the concept of regression analysis to do this. Now basically, you need a regression equation of uh, people whose average daily wage uh, is in Delhi, okay, on the average daily wage for working class people in Nagpur. Okay, so this kind of regression equation is what you need. now okay <clears throat> because that's how you will now then you be able to find out the most likely wage in delhi corresponding to any uh, wage in uh, nagpur so you need a regression of uh, the daily wage of people working in delhi on the daily wage for working class people in nagpur so this is what you need to find out from the information that is given to you so basically in order to find out this regression equation you need a and b values a is the intercept of b is your slope right so how do you find this these information is given to you so b okay b d on n is will be what we know there is a relationship between b and the standard deviation and the coefficient of correlation which is given by r times standard deviation of d divided by standard deviation of n this is going to give you your slope okay now once you have the slope you also know that the mean uh, this these two regression equation will always pass through their corresponding means that means they satisfy this equation that is d bar is equal to a plus b n bar right so you know the mean of these you can use that and you have also factored the value of b put in these in this equation you can find the value of a and then you will get your regression equation right once you have derived the regression equation which is will be in this form d is equal to a plus b n for certain values of a and b now you have to find out the most likely wage in delhi corresponding to to the wage of rupees 20 in nagpur so all you have to do is in place of n you have to plug in 20 here in the regression equation that you have just derived and then calculate the likely wage in delhi so this is how you proceed in such questions now pause the video and read 
the solution here. All right. Moving forward, slope of the regression line is given by this. Okay, that's how you calculate the slope, and then from the values of mean and the slope, you can calculate the intercept term, and thus get your regression line of y on x or d on n. Then plug in the value of 20 to get the most likely wage in Delhi corresponding to the wage of 20 in Nagpur. Next question. Now here you are given two series of index numbers. Okay, D denotes the disposable personal income and S salary of the company. Now here you are again uh, given for these two series D and S the mean and standard deviation. So mean is 120, standard deviation is 15 for D series and for S it's 115 and 10. Okay, mean and standard deviations. And the coefficient of correlation is also given between the two series which is 0.75. Now from this given information you have to find out the linear equation for estimating the values of s for different values of d so what do you have to find out you have to find out regression equation uh, for s on d this is the kind of regression equation you have to find out so how would you proceed you first find out b s d which will be equal to r times sigma s divided by sigma d okay now once you have this you can use the property that the uh, sample regression line always passes through the mean values which is going to give you the value of a that is s bar will be equal to a plus b times d bar you have s bar d bar and you just calculate the value of b plug in to get the value of a the interceptor okay so now this will solve your first part of the question now how do you interpret the values of s corresponding to different values of d obtained from the equation the interpretation is that for a unit change in d by how much your the value of s is changing is given by this b okay for one unit change in d and if the d is zero okay the index number d for disposable income is zero then what is the salary of the company is given by your intercept term here now the last part of the question tells you that can the same equation be used for estimating values of d for different values of s okay now they've reversed this so no you cannot use this equation to find out that then you will have to find a regression equation of d on s okay so that you have to do you have to do the reverse then your your d becomes your dependent variable s is your independent variable now pause the video and read everything here this will be clear now everything here you first estimate the slope of the regression then you find out the intercept term and then you substitute the values to get the regression equation of s on d this is giving you the interpretation of this regression equation that for a particular value of d what would be the corresponding value of s and the same can all be used to estimate the values of d for different values of s you have to find another regression equation right let's move to the last uh, question of this particular part of the video mm -hmm. here you have information given on uh, different uh, aggregates so it's mentioned that the uh, closing prices of 12 stocks on a bombay stocks exchange on a certain day along with the volume of sales in thousands of shares y so volume is represented by the variable y and the closing prices is represented by x okay so between these you have a certain information you have sigma x sigma y sigma x y sigma x square and sigma y square now from these information you have to 
find the regression equations okay so they are silent on whether you have to find the regression equation of x on y or y on x so in such cases you actually solve for both okay you have to find both the regression equations here now how to solve for regression equations you need to know the values of a and b as discussed in previous videos also previous questions also right so to find the values of a and b first um, see here you do not know what is the coefficient of correlation r okay so you need to, cannot use that formula to find the value of b instead what you can do in this question is you can use the two normal equations okay you can use the two normal equations which is uh, for if you are regressing y on x then the normal equations are summation y is equal to n a plus b summation x or the second one is summation x y is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square okay now you have two regression equations and there are two unknowns a and b you can solve these two regression equations all these are given to you in the question itself sigma y sigma x sigma x y sigma x and sigma x square plug in the values and solve these two equations for the values of a and b once you get the values of a and b you can get your regression equation y is equal to a plus b x all right so this is your regression equation of y on x similarly for x on y you write the two normal equations estimate the values for the p and q and find out your regression equation of x on y so you have just reverse every value here in your regression equation okay so for x on y what would be the normal equations normal equations would be sigma x is equal to n a plus b sigma y and sigma x y is equal to a times sigma y plus b times sigma y square these are the two normal equations okay uh, so p and q or in, in order to be uh, different we can maybe instead of a and b write p and q here so that these are denoting the values for regression equation of x on y okay write p and q here so you have two equations two unknowns p and q solve these you will get the values of p and q once you have this you can write down your regression equation of x on y which is x equal to p plus q times y okay. so this is how you estimate the regression equation this is one way another way is that you can directly find out the value of b y x and b x y okay how can you do it you can use uh, the formula of uh, summation uh, xi pi i upon summation xi square this is in deviation form okay but you don't have the values in deviation form so you can transform it into this aggregate and find out the values of these two uh, slope coefficients right so and then once you find out this you can then use the property that the regression line passes through the mean values so it would satisfy this okay and then find out the value of intercept now pause the video and you can have a look at the solution here this would be clear to you now so if you have any queries you can also call us on this number or you can email at this email id if you have any doubts regarding your preparation or any of the examination thank you